Hello, I'm Chris and I'm from Home Craftology and welcome to the very first video of the Home Craftology YouTube channel. I'm actually really excited to be here. If you like diamond painting or if you think you might like diamond painting, if you're interested at all, I'd love for you to hit that subscribe button and hit that bell so that you get notified every time we release new content. And I am hoping to release a bunch of videos of my wife and I both doing diamond paintings. If you've never done diamond painting before, this stuff is amazing. This is so popular. We have hundreds of thousands of customers around the world who absolutely love diamond painting and you have been missing out, my friend. On the canvas, we have put a very sticky resin across the entire canvas. Grab your color from the diamonds that we send you. Uh, grab the correct color and simply stick it in the correct boxes. And it's, it's so simple that anybody can do this. In fact, we have children who do this. We have teenagers who do this. We have elderly who do this. We have customers who buy this for, for nursing homes. We have other customers that buy this for actual schools and, and, and even daycare. Diamond painting is a hobby that's for everybody. And, and one of the coolest things about it is how easy and accessible this hobby is for anyone to do. But what really makes me happy, we hear time and time again from our customers all around the world who use this as a, a break from reality. They, they use this as a way to fight depression, post-traumatic stress, anxiety, uh, and, and most important, boredom. If you're someone who finds themselves missing something in your life, perhaps you spend too much time scrolling social media, pick this hobby up, it's amazing. And what I think is the best part about thumb paintings is the sense of, of achievement that you get as you go along. Uh, for example, you'll be putting your diamonds into this tray. And every time you finish a tray of diamonds, you feel like you've done something, you, you, you've achieved something. And every time you, you finish a section of your diamond painting and it starts to come to life, you, you actually do feel good. I love this craft, my wife loves this craft, my children love this craft, and you will love this craft too. Now if you're wondering why you should shop at Home Craftology for your diamond paintings, well, we have incredible premium quality poured glue canvases and with these canvases, you can roll them out straight away and start working on your kit. There'll be no rivers, there'll be no drill popping, they will lie out flat straight from the go and nothing, nothing but thumb painting bliss. Not to mention the fact that for Home Craftology, my team has perfected the art of translating images into great kits. Uh, we spend a lot of time working on our images so that when you finish your diamond painting, you'll end up with an incredible looking, bright, clear, crisp, sparkling picture. Today, we are working on the elephant kit from our store. Now you can find this kit simply by going to homecraftology.com and searching for elephant. This kit is simply called elephant kit. Um, so it looks like an elephant on the savannah, lots of nice sepia tones coming through on this kit. It is actually one of our best sellers, and if you do purchase this, I'm pretty sure you'll get 25% off if you use the best seller 25% code in our header on top of our website. Uh, link will be down below, of course. What do you get when you purchase a home craftology kit? Well, you get your premium canvas. You get all the diamonds that you're going to need to finish your canvas off. You'll get a tray to help you organize your diamonds as you're doing your kit. You'll get a pen. Now this pen is a diamond painting pen that you'll dip in your wax, which looks like this in our kits. Simply take off the lid. Uh, if you're opening this up for the first time, it will have a plastic covering on it. Take the plastic covering off and you're ready to dip your pen into the wax. Preferably for me, I like to dip it a couple of times. The wax will help you pick up your diamonds from your tray and stick them into the boxes So before I start my kit, what are you doing here? Before I start my kit, I like to be organized and organize my diamonds in little vials um, in these nice uh, kits. This is a 64 compartment storage travel case. Little vials like this, so you can put all your little colored diamonds in there. And so what this lets her do is put each color into one of these guys, pop this guy in your case, zip it up, and quite literally, Mel will do diamond paintings anywhere around the house. Grab a cup of coffee, grab a cup of tea or a wine or whatever you feel like, um, and then off you go. Um, I will start labeling this one um, because it's the arrow that I'm gonna do first. 
I won't do all of them, obviously. It's going to take a long time for me to do that, but I'm going to start with this. Cool. See you soon. Okay, so I am going to start on this section right here, uh, full of J's. Before I actually cut any of the film away, let me get my diamonds organized. So we're looking for J, and J is color 819. Color 819, right here, it's like a, like an off-white color. I use my scissors, I'll just cut one off. All right, 819, I'm just gonna cut off the tip and put this into my tray here. Let me cut this protective part of the film off and I'm gonna cut as much of the J as I can. And just cut that up. Now the cool thing about doing it this way is if you don't quite finish off that entire section, you can just pop this plastic back where it was. Uh, a little tip though, do take note of which side was on the canvas. If you do the other side down, um, it's, you're gonna have a hard time peeling it back off. But it won't ruin your canvas. So place it down on the table the way that it, that it was. Uh, now, let's get started. So, got my pen, my pen tool right here. I've got my wax. I, uh, I make sure the tip of my pen is nicely waxed. That helps us pick up the diamonds in the tray. Uh, what I like to do is just shake the tray a little bit and get all the diamonds facing the right way or close to it and uh, let's get started. All right, that's one. <laughs> so you want to stick them on the canvas flat side down? Yes. Flat side down, no problem. What you'll find as you do this though is the hours will just fly by. <laughs> 